today's cyber webinar, Knockout Outbound Errors and Expense Offsets with RFID. Again, my name is Phil Andrianos, Digital Marketing Specialist here at Cyber. Uh, today's present, uh, presenters, we have Sheldon Rice, Chief Solutions Architect for Cyber, and uh, our VP of Sales and Marketing, Mike Chabet. Between Sheldon and Mike, decades of experience with RFID solutions for major retailers, brands, and manufacturers. Uh, today, we're going to be going over specifically outbound shipping. Uh, they're going to be discussing fulfillment techniques that are improving orders per hour by 30%. So I think we're just about ready to get started. Sheldon, you want to get ready to go? Thank you, Phil. All right. And uh, as we uh, get into this, it uh, would be a little bit of a theatrical int introduction. And um, first of all, I do want to thank everybody for taking moments out of your, your day. I know how critical it is to... Uh, Oh, you're very busy and uh, appreciate you taking the time and hopefully uh, you will uh, take take home something from this. And I will move over to my theatrical introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. Yes, this is a boxing and wrestling metaphor and it's on purpose. We hope to turn you into cage fighters and uh, we'll explain uh, some of that as well. Uh, with me in uh, the the, the coach playing Angelo Dundee, playing the, the grizzled um, um, boxing coach with a cigar between his teeth is Mike Chabet. Welcome, Michael. Sheldon, thank you so much for that introduction. And uh, in, in each corner, uh, as, you, as you know, you've got the, uh, on the one corner is the, the, the retailer who uses the chargebacks and expense offsets as revenue centers, and in the other corner, the, the brand owner looking for a way to reduce the expense offsets and knock out their errors in outbound uh, processes. Those of you who worked with RFID uh, or read about it, followed it in the industry, I mean, we, uh, it, it brings a value in a whole slew of processing areas, whether it's your packing, whether it's your staging, shipping, receiving, all the way down the line. And in your case, for the retail brand of it, looking for that special edge, where is the best place to put your money to take advantage of the fact you're already tagging your goods for your retail uh, partners? And, ha ha you know, what way can we can can you take advantage of this? Are the right items packed? Is the order complete? When did the order ship? Did the right order ship? So many of these kind of questions that could be quantified, and that's the, the key there. And without walking over and scanning each item for sure, but even with each carton one at a time. Michael, you want to talk a little bit about your pain points here? Yeah, the accuracy, shipping accuracy is probably the, uh, the key ROI for a brand owner when they're processing orders for various retailers. Uh, some of the major retailers that I've met with and spoke with, um, you know, they have a cost. There's an expense to uh, having to handle goods coming in when orders don't match the ASN. And those, those costs and those expenses are pushed upstream. Uh, now, for a brand owner to process that error, even if it's one error a week uh, within the shipping environment, there's a whole cascade of costs that are now um, uh, affected uh, by this process. And by using the RFID, in many cases, we may have 35, 40% of the goods flowing through a supply chain may already be RFID tagged to handle some of the mass mer merchandisers and retail mandates. So since this merchandise is already tagged, we very economically can now use those tags, put those tags to work for ourselves. And what you see me doing here is our lab in West Seneca, we have a high speed flow rail and we're actually running a customer's uh, cartons through the system to establish uh, read rate speed cartons per minute. Uh, and what we're finding is both on the inbound side, 
uh, as uh, merchandise is coming from source, we're catching a lot of errors before they get into the supply chain. And then we're actually uh, capturing anything that happened internally during the pick process to catch those errors before they get out the door. And by doing that, we can stop a lot of the uh, um, error uh, exceptions that have to be handled, invoices, uh, chargebacks, corrections, fixing inventory, uh, just the labor involved, uh, both in terms of the uh, accounting area as well as in logistics and distribution. So even one error a week can have a major impact on cost and by implementing or using the RFID tags that are already on the garment, uh, we're finding that the ROI can be in a very short period of time. My, Michael, well, um, you want to share with us uh, so some of what, what is there such a thing as a typical uh, chargeback or a typical expense offset? I mean, I've heard it. Sometimes it's a carton, whatever the cost of the carton would be, and sometimes I've actually heard it's the order. Could you? Um, shed some light on that? Well, yeah, in, in, in some cases, it actually the whole carton can be considered um, uh, non payable, if you will. Uh, in those cases, uh, um, you've just basically provided some free goods, and now you've actually got to uh, issue a charge back against the invoice against those goods. So it's kind of a double whammy. Um, and in some cases, the order can actually be rejected and returned uh, without a uh, uh, without a uh, an allowance to uh, reship, if you will. So the order can be canceled and returned without uh, without being replenished. So yes, yeah, some of these costs can be quite excessive. Thank you. So one of the uh, areas where uh, it really you you know that's it's really a knockout punch. Is is you can you validate a pick pack uh, at, certainly a pick um, and, and, and then subsequently a pack uh, uh, versus barcode? There's no comparison, um, and the decision about how to equip uh, your uh, facility, whether it's uh, putting in uh, fixed readers or uh, uh, or to go with the mobile. It's really depending on how many people you have on the floor, whether it's more conducive in your process to bring the material to a, a workstation or a vast station, or whether it's just easier to equip your staff and have your workers go out to the floor and, 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 and conduct the operations. Michael, you have anything to add on this? Well, yeah, if you look at how easy it is to be able to put in a fixed reader to validate either an inbound or an outbound shipment. What I was showing here on the left is, uh, happens to be GOH, garments on hangers, um, which lend themselves some other handling issues. But uh, whether it be in carton, flat carton, on conveyor, or GOH, uh, you can see how economical it is to put in a couple of antennas to read the items on the outbound side before it leaves and actually get a status report uh, is the order complete um, before it goes out and actually be confident in uh, the, the, the shipment so that you're not going to see a, a chargeback. Uh, this particular customer who we're representing here, uh, a major retailer that I spoke with actually told me that the chargeback uh, uh, handshaking, if you will, with this particular brand owner went to zero by validating during the pick process and validating on the outbound and catching the errors before they went out the door, they now have a zero uh, chargeback error rate uh, because of a missed pick, missing item, too many items, wrong skew. Um, and that was, uh, that was actually someone telling me that in, a, uh, uh, in an open environment. So that's, uh, that was really exciting to hear. Thank you. Right. This is um, another way to, um, this is what, in a fixed infrastructure, if you've got the, uh, if you have a, a conveyors, 
uh, either on the inbound or on the outbound, the ability to audit every single item in every carton, as opposed to just you know picking and um, um, just a, a random or an nth uh, carton to examine. Um, you can, if, if you can audit every single inbound and validate every single item in every single carton that's outbound, it's, it's tremendous. And then if you come, have an exception, then you send it off to the vast station. But without any slowdown in your existing processes, uh, Michael will talk a little bit more about the performance specs here of this solution. Um, you, you get this, this tremendous, uh, uh, you, you get records, you get, uh, uh, like I said, it cuts down on the errors, and, um, and you get a really great picture of what's going on in your uh, facility. And can be handled both on the audit inbound from source, uh, we said now that outbound, but not only that, and uh, you know, we, uh, record returns as well because um, you can just interrogate the cartons when they arrive and we can decode the information that's inside the carton without opening it. Michael, you have something uh, to add to this particular? Yeah, absolutely, Sheldon. Because what makes all of this work is the establishment of standards. And the standards in an open environment coming from GS1 in terms of UPC, EPC, SSCC, as you see here on the carton label, and GRAI on some returnable assets. What we're looking at here is we have a standard uh, GS1 uh, 128 barcode on a carton. 